Hello everyone and welcome to the introductory video to the Windows Server 2022 Mega Series. Now this video is the first in a series of a lot of videos that will cover a lot of subjects about the Windows Server 2022. And let's see a couple of details about this uh, video series. Uh, we, it, this will contain videos that will show you how to implement different roles and features, of course on Windows Server 2022, by building a test infrastructure. Now this means that most of the videos will uh, have continuity between them, because I will try to show you how uh, different roles and features work together. For example, if I will want to show you in a video how to do cluster aware updating, of course, in a previous one, I will have to show you how to implement Windows Server Update services. Now, the complexity of the videos will also range between uh, very simple and uh, very complex, but at the same time interesting. We will have videos like, for example, installing Windows Server, but we will also have videos like managing containers. We will have videos like uh, installing DHCP, but also videos like implementing uh, IPAM, so on and so forth. Uh, one common thing among uh, most of the things I will show you is that there will be a big emphasis on using PowerShell and Server Core. So I will use a Windows Server with a desktop only where it makes sense or only when using Server Core uh, or PowerShell will not be possible. This is because as companies increase the number of uh, Windows servers, it is getting more and more difficult to manage them like as if they were desktops uh, by logging on and doing uh, things from the graphical interface. In my opinion, using PowerShell is not the future, but is the present and the future. So it's better to learn it at some point. One other thing that I wish for this series is that as we see how to implement different roles and features, we also have a very nice library of scripts that you can use uh, in the future to re-implement some of the things I show you in these videos. And one more thing regarding the series itself is that there will be three types of videos. Some of them will contain only the theory. Some of them will have uh, only uh, practice parts, so only parts where we implement different uh, things. But some of them will also have a combination of the two. And this will depend, of course, on the complexity of the subjects that uh, I will cover. Uh, now for the first video, I just want to talk about what's new in Windows Server 2022 and also what has been deprecated. So first let's start with what's new. And the first slide here will be only about security because Microsoft uh, puts a lot of emphasis on security which has been uh, more and more important in the last years. So one feature is secured core server and uh, this actually is a set of security features that are meant to protect against more complex attacks and these features work by leveraging hardware, firmware and software together. In Windows Server 2022, the protocol for web traffic encryption is now TLS 1.3 by default. Also DNS now supports request encryption with DNS over HTTPS. SMB also supports a more complex encryption algorithm, which is AES-256. And uh, clusters now support East-West SMB encryption, which is leveraged in uh, storage spaces uh, direct clusters uh, in CSV volumes. Moving on, let's talk about some uh, management and uh, application uh, features. Uh, Windows Server 2022 of course can be managed by the new Azure Arc solution. 
It can also be managed with Windows Admin Center. Actually, Windows Admin Center got an update uh, to support some of the new features of Windows Server 2022. For those of you that use containers, good news. Now the image size for containers has been reduced by 40%, which means that you will download Windows-based containers quickly and they will start faster. Also, a couple of Kubernetes integration improvements have been introduced. One feature that in my opinion has been a, a long time coming, especially for people that have test labs at home, is support for nested virtualization for AMD CPUs. Since AMD CPUs are cheaper and with more cores than Intel CPUs, this is a very welcomed new addition. Windows Server 2022 ditches Internet Explorer and replaces it with Microsoft Edge, which I think also is uh, something good. It now has uh, also SMB compression, which means that you will be able to make faster transfers without needing to zip the files that you transfer. This of course will be supported when the server and the client both support uh, SMB compression. And there have been uh, also a couple of uh, enhancements to different storage subsystems that I will not detail here. Now we talked about the good news, let's also talk about the bad news, deprecated or discontinued uh, features. The only feature that has been removed from 2022 is the Internet Storage Name Service. And uh, a surprise for me is that the guarded fabric and shielded VMs feature is not in development anymore. It is still supported, so it will still get bug fixes or security fixes, but no functionalities will be added to this feature because Microsoft now focuses on bringing different uh, cloud-based security services from Azure to uh, on-premises. Now this is a surprise because uh, this uh, guarded fabric feature has come out in Windows Server 2016, so it, it's already being phased out, which seems interesting to me, but it is how it is. Anyway, uh, this was it for the first video. In the next one, we will see how to install Windows Server 2022. And as the series goes on, we will do more and more interesting things. If you want to get notifications of uh, video uploads from my channel, then consider subscribing. And if uh, you like this video, then please actually give it a like. Maybe consider also sharing it. And thanks a lot for watching.